Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are doing F1 2014, uh, so we're going to be season challenge or whatnot. Uh, no, it's not season challenge because they don't have any. So, um, we are actually going to be doing a career mode. Uh, first time I've ever done career on the F1 games. So, 2014 career mode. As to who I pick, I have no idea. Oh, what you know, they do have season challenge. Uh, what's this when a fuck up starts with a video? Um, right, we're going to go medium and okay, trim. That's the pretty much difficult one. Um, you can tell by the circle for the dif difficulty. The more they're on, the more difficult it is. Um, So we are gonna go with Salba for season challenge. Um, did Salba um, in 2013 season challenge? If you haven't seen any of the videos, then 2012 2013 season challenge playlists are in the description. They're down there. Um, if you're new to the channel, the subscribe button is down there. Um, yeah, so just, oh, and uh, you can also follow up with the whole editing stuff uh, up there, somewhere there, um, is like my Instagram and Twitter, so do check those out. So, yeah, I am in the sample of Adrian Sutil, um, my memory is right from the 2014 season, the Salpa was absolute shit, didn't get a single point, well it might have got one. No, it didn't. Didn't get one point. Uh, usual emails, blah, blah, blah. So first race is Austria. It's sunny. And I've got to select a rival. So my idea, we're picking a rival for this. For th this is for people who haven't seen Season Challenge on my channel before. Um, you pick a rival that's kind of more... Not optimistic, but in terms of levels of catching, uh, is it, it's it's a more realistic target is what I'm looking for. Um, so obviously, what we're going to do is because obviously Perez is in the Force India, I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to realistic target. We're, we're going to go Sergio Perez. And he's a force indie that Mercedes, that's gonna be quick. Um we'll go for Daniel Ricardo in the Red Bull. No, I know yeah, I forgot he's in Red Bull. Uh let's go Taro Rosso, John Eric Venn. And while we're having a look, uh, just gives you the usual stuff about welcoming to the team. So, first race is obviously Austria, which I've already mentioned, so we're going to go to the Quali. Um, I've not played F1 2014 for a long time. The last game I played was uh, that one. Um, yeah, so we're going to get straight into qualifying. Um, Yeah, those of you who aren't new to this and you know what I've just been talking about um, and you've had to sit through it and think, why am I mentioning this? I mention this for people who are actually watching this and don't know what I'm on about. As I'm recording this, there is like six days until the first Grand Prix this season. Um, Buzz of Covet's nice and su it's nice and sunny in Austria, which is kind of the norm. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for I think moderate setup. Let's just stick with the stable, balanced setup. I hope I don't have to change gear on this because I can't change gear on the pad. No, I don't. 
Oh, I've missed the braking. I missed the braking for that corner, got it all wrong. That's uh, just Norm Rosberg's pulling away at a arse rate. Christ, hang on a minute. Right, I'm pausing this for two seconds because I swear to... The braking can't be on, surely. Oh, hang on, no, it's the controls, the one on. Assist the control. Braking, braking. Hey, right, let's turn the ABS off for a start and then we'll actually get somewhere. <clears throat> that's probably why I was going so, that's probably why I couldn't turn going into turn one. Yes, much more like it, breaking out for that corner now, we're coming up to... Come on, Salah, really, I'm really resting this car through the corner. Oh, snatched the brake, sort of puff of smoke there. Great, I can't use engine modes. DRS coming across the line and it's 18th. Um, that's a pretty much standard position for me in yeah, season challenge qualifying. Um, well, at least I didn't have oversteer and turn right instead of left, which I did those qualifying things. Um, so, 8th on the grid. Where's my rival? Rival's third team, so it's about ooh, six times of him. And in terms of my teammate, which is Sotil, I was about just under four times off. It's not too bad. Could have been a hell of a lot better, if I'm honest. Oh, by the way, if you're excited for the new F1 season, uh, put in the comment section who you think is going to get fastest lap, who's going to win, and who's going to be on pole for Australia. Right, let's get through the cutscene stuff. And so, how many laps do we have? Uh, five laps as the North season tight. Excuse me, guys. Wow. Um, Right, let's get through that. Right, it's a Merc front row. Oh, God. Seen that too many times in the hybrid area. 18th. Okay, off the line, it got a decent start, so Till's had a bad one. Maldonado's coming through, I'll stick to the right. We're gonna go down to 10. Oh my god, Jensen, so slow. To 13. Oh, hey, oh. Jensen must have. He's had a rocket coming out of turn one. Now behind Kavia. Going wheel to wheel with him. Very slow. Far too aggressive. Oh, shut up, engineer. Up into P9 already. Target position done. And I'm ahead of my rival. It's going as well so far. Hmm. Um, maybe I should have picked Holcomb. Maybe I should have picked Ricardo. Oh, my God. Oh. I have got this on medium. I've just shot into P7. 
Oh, red, this is ridiculous, guys. P7. Opening lap. Yeah? Yeah? Yes? Yes, please. I'm recording a video at the minute. Sorry. I'm great for pie and chips, apparently. Anyway. Carrying on. So it lines it through the last. Oh my god, back end start to step out. Cross the line. Furnace 13, so I am ahead of my teammate. I'm right. Oh shit, I forgot to break going into turn one. Oh, I did it again. Now, uh, lost a bit of time, not gonna lie. I've got Hulkenberg up my ass. to turn well I want to say it's turn four coming up to be honest I don't know how many turns this circuit's got oh my god where am I going I've gone off Hulkenberg's come back at me I'm having to cover the line Hulkenberg has come back at me again screaming to oh my god Bo oh it's Bottas shit oh oversteer not good Coming out to complete the end of lap two. Um, I think Magnussen's a tall order to catch. Oh Jesus Christ, where am I going? Lap time coming up, 17.9. Not bad. Much better turn one actually. Um, Rosberg is leading, so I'm going to guess it's Hamilton and the Red Bulls. Then a Ferrari. I've just done a purple first sector. Bottas is not in DRS, so that's good. Uh, Magnussen's three seconds up the road. And then there's that one to five of the usual suspects. Ooh, you know. Tice screeching. This is the problem now with the pad on these games because try to accelerate and you just burn your tyres up and I've just done a perp oh my god 2.9 faster Jesus two and a half to Magnussen I tell you what oh I've run wide and again I've fucked up those last two corners absolute bugger them up Oh my god, six temps of Frostburg. The, uh, I just lost it all in that in the last two corners of the lap. Right, let's switch to rear and see what happens. Where's Bottas there? So, so far, Rival's in 12th now. Uh, I'm still going to beat him, which will be a great start. Oh my god, no, that's wrong. Oh shit, it's all gone tits up. Uh, let's refer back to neutral on brakes. I've got the brew in the tyre, so I've got to shake those off. Okay, um, my battery on my controller is low. Um, if it's going to have gone wrong in this race, it's gone wrong. Flashing light. Technical difficulties. Right, okay. Back underway. Sorry about that. I've now got Bottas right behind me. Oh, Jesus Christ. So 
So now I've got to start the final lap of the Grand Prix. Hamilton's at a 45 behave. Magnussen is five seconds up. It's just a case of trying to hold off Bottas and Bottas. He's going to be in the DRS. Personal best for oh, I've missed the breaking point. Nine temps. Oh, he's shit. He's going to have DRS. Oh God, help! So DRS. I don't think Bottas is close enough. No, it's not. Uh, I am going to hold on for seventh place. It, and it's quite remarkable to see when I started 18th on the grid. Made up so many places on the first lap, which was so crucial. 1.4. It's 4.6 now to Magnussen. So I've come back into my own a bit. Round the final corner to complete the first race of season challenge. Job done. And that is P7. First target hit. Fern 12. Target position was 16th and I've beat that by a country mile. So we look at the positioning and um, look at terms of fastest laps is what the key thing is. My fastest lap was a 15.153, so that was faster than Ricardo, just a tenth behind Vettel, um, and I was quicker than Magnussen, whose fastest lap was a 15.3. So the pace was there in the car, uh, which I'm quite surprised at, to be honest. I uh, didn't think I'd have a 15.1 in the car. Uh, but six points is pretty good to get on the board because um, this salvo is so awful and how I've got some place I don't know uh, Satil was 17th and Button was 18th yeah Button had a dreadful first lap um, look at the championship Rosberg obviously you know Rosberg's first Hamilton da, 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 da. so we switch it to the constructors Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren They've got eight points, and then Salva uh, so it's with five. I got the points there. Um, too early to say where the team's going to finish in season times, but I got a feeling it's going to be quite a good year. So yeah, all the action was like the, the beginning of the race, and um, pretty much at the end of it. Um, a lot of it was just a case of me feeling my way into the race, settling down. Um, could I have come back this in? Maybe. I think it was a bit of a push. But I've got to be happy with seven, as you can clearly see from the cutscenes there. Um, I'm quite I'm quite happy with seventh place from 18th on the grid. Um, I think that pass on Hulkenberg was probably key. Um, you saw it quite early on. Um, Go on the outside of turn four or five, I think it was. Uh, it was a, it was a key move at the time. Um, I wouldn't have caught Magnussen, um, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, it's just the way it goes. Um, race results: you can see there, my call of time was a sixteen one. Pole that was a fourteen two. My fastest race lap was a whole second quicker than what I did in qualifying. Um, and the fastest race lap obviously 14.5, so I was only six tenths off the fastest race lap. Bear in mind what car I was driving, that's pretty impressive. Um, who was I going after? Oh, yeah, Toro Rosso. Um, honestly, I could have actually picked Bottas or Hulkenberg because those were two others I was looking at. But I thought, you know, Force India would be too much, and I think maybe. So we've got Sun for Canada, which is the next race, which is going to be in episode two. Um, off season challenge. So, with that in mind, 
thanks very much guys for watching episode one of 2014 season challenge with me in this alba i've been cosplay gamer now no seven till then take care and this is going to be up tomorrow night so i will edit this and there'll be photos and short videos um in fact, as soon as i get off this i'll be doing a live stream on instagram uh so yeah that's all and i will see you all in the next one till then take care and goodbye